to another episode of the Jar and Science Club. I'm your host, Brenda. Today you're going to be making a rainbow using surface tension. Let's get to it. Here's what you need. For this experiment, you will need a very large open mouth jar full of milk. Higher fat milk is better. You will also need liquid food coloring in the three colors of the rainbow, a toothpick, and some soap. So basically for this, for this one, it's the most exciting if you get in up close. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera closer so you can see the action really close and personal because it's a lot of fun. First, add your drops of food coloring to your milk. This is where the milk and the fat particles are shaken up together so that they are then equally distributed and won't separate when the milk is at the store. The fat inside the milk holds the food coloring in place because the food coloring is clinging to the fat particles in the milk. The food coloring is less dense than the milk so it stays on top and doesn't move. Each particle of the liquid in the milk has surface tension which keeps the food coloring from spreading. The surface tension holds it in place. Surface tension is the tension between molecules as they're bumped up against each other. But when you add the soap to your food coloring and the milk, the soap particles bind with the fat particles. What does this do? Because the fat is now binding with the soap particles, the surface tension of the liquid milk is reduced. This makes the food coloring spread rapidly across the surface of your milk creating a beautiful colored rainbow on the top of your milk. That's it for today. See you next time.